Good afternoon. My name is Darren Stead. I'm the Assistant National Director of Operation Save America, and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be with you all today. I want to share a quick uh, story with you about a conversation I just heard between Pastor Joe and Sal over here. Pastor Joe got done speaking. He went over, and Sal said, good job. Pastor Joe said, thanks. Was that five minutes? And Sal said, no, Pastor. <laughs> So we, we got five minutes to talk up here, and I've never said anything in my life in five minutes. So I'm going to try to get to work here really quick. I want to share with you just really quickly this morning. I'm thankful for Apologia Church. I'm thankful for Action for Life. There's a problem with having Presbyterians at a rally. It's okay to clap and yell. It's all right. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Where's the Baptist at? That's right. We got some here. How many of them are Reformed Baptists, though? <laughs> That's right. I'm also thankful for Abolish Abortion Pennsylvania. Abolish Abortion PA. South I'm thankful for this state representative right here being willing to be a man of courage. I'm going to share with you guys just really quickly today four reasons we need to build abolish abortion in Pennsylvania. Four reasons. The first reason we need a bill of equal justice here in Pennsylvania is because a bill of equal justice establishes the standard for the sanctity of human life. For far too long in places like Pennsylvania and states all over the country, politicians have been able to behave like and pretend like they're for the preborn and then compromise on half measures that ultimately don't save any babies. The reason we need a bill of full equal justice in Pennsylvania is because we need to demonstrate through legislation that's being proposed what the actual standard is before God of what it looks like to actually defend and protect preborn babies. Here's the thing about laws. Laws do a lot of things. Laws establish good standards for punishment and so forth. But you know, the Bible also teaches that laws inform the conscience. The law is a teacher. And unfortunately, for far too long in the United States of America, we Christians have been proposing and advocating for legislation that teach people that babies at various different gestations are less than human and do not deserve protection. And so we need a law to be proposed in Pennsylvania that demands equal justice and establishes the actual standard for the safety of human life. So that from this point forward, once this law is proposed here in, in Pennsylvania, every other law that's proposed that comes to less than this piece of legislation does not count as actual defense of the safety of human life. That's the first reason we need this bill. The second reason we need this bill is because it, 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 uh, it exposes the false promises and lies of the political establishment. For far too long in places like Pennsylvania, Indiana, where I'm from, in places like Texas, where we have, many, uh, we have many legislators that run and make lots of promises about what they're going to do for the pre-born and so forth when they're running for political office, but then when they actually get in their seat, they do nothing for the pre-born. And the time has come for that to stop. When you propose a bill like this that actually establishes true justice and actually protects preborn babies, it separates the boys from the men. It shows us who actually has a desire to protect preborn children and who's just trying to get elected. And it is incumbent and important upon the Christians in the state of Pennsylvania to get behind this bill and to let the people that come to this building every day know we will settle for nothing less. The third reason we need a bill of equal justice in Pennsylvania is because it shows the futility of the practice of regulating abortion. It shows the futility of the practice of regulating abortion. How long? Since Roe versus Wade has passed, how many babies have been slaughtered since then? How much blood has been shed since then? 
How much success have we had actually protecting children since then? The blood of innocent children runs red in our streets. While we continue to vote for people that say that they're going to protect the preborn, and they pass these half measures that regulate abortion rather than putting an end to it, and in the meantime, the abortion industry continues to find a workaround so that they can keep murdering babies. Because let me teach you something about economics. As long as there's a desire for a service, the people that provide that service will find a way to do so until it is abolished. Legislative half measures that seek to regulate abortion, do you know who they benefit more than anybody else? Planned Parenthood. You know what, you know what legislation that seeks to regulate abortion does? It puts Planned Parenthood's competitors out of business. And that's all that it does. And it allows Planned Parenthood to continue to grow. It allows them to continue to open new facilities where they can spend more money and build nicer buildings where they can more quickly and efficiently slaughter children because our laws are telling them the best way to go about doing it. We need a bill of equal justice to demonstrate the futility of the practice of regulating abortion. Finally, we need a bill of equal justice to provide something tangible for the Christians in the state of Pennsylvania to rally around. You see, this brother right here is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. The next session is going to be very hard for him. As a political establishment gets exposed and he stands up in bravery and demands equal justice, it's going to be a difficult session for him. But he is not the only one that has action that needs to be taken here. It is incumbent upon every person that stands on this platform right here today and every Christian all throughout the state of Pennsylvania to get behind this legislation, to promote it, to mobilize their brothers and sisters in Christ, to pray, to gather petitions, to come before the throne of God's grace, and to rise up against every half measure, say that's not enough, and demand equal justice. We need the Christians in Pennsylvania to rally around this bill. And it is a tangible thing that Christians can rally around and say, this is something that we can stand for. This is something we can get behind. I want to just say this in closing on my way. Uh, when I was leaving Indiana to come out here today, I got a message from a friend of mine. He said, why Pennsylvania? Like of all the places in the country, why, would you, why are you guys going to Pennsylvania and proposing a bill there? You know, like Pennsylvania is kind of a purple state. You know, it goes back and forth between red and blue. It's a swing state. And many people look at states like Pennsylvania and think, well, we need to focus our attention in places like Alabama and Mississippi and Texas and Oklahoma. And I say, yes, let's put our time, energy, money, effort into places like Mississippi, Texas, Alabama, Oklahoma. We need to be strategic in our thinking. But I also know this. When I read the Word of God, I see over and over and over again that God tends to do things in such a way that only He can receive honor, glory, and praise for it. And I don't know what state will cross that line first and establish true justice for the preborn. I don't know which one it will be. But I would not be surprised to see it be a place like Pennsylvania. Because if God makes abortion illegal in Pennsylvania through the rising up of his church here, he can make it illegal anyway. Amen. And so I want to plead with you brothers today, before I introduce my brother here, I want to plead with you brothers and sisters today. Don't just show up to this rally and have that be it. These are four reasons we need this legislation. And we need you to get behind this legislation in order for it to have any opportunity of working through the process.